Hey guys, welcome to another video and in this video I'll show you how to create a simple login sign up application that will work on Firebase authentication. So make sure that you have already have an account on Google so that you can authenticate your registered email ID and password with Firebase and also authenticate your registered email ID and password. So first you need to start your project inside Android Studio, I'm naming it the project as login sample and click on next and choose empty activity and then click on next and keep it as it is and click on finish and after it loads it will look like this so you have to go to the your uh, android studio resource folder and then layout folder and then activity main.xml this is your design layout file and you have to design your application here that will first run on your screen after opening the app so i'm first changing the constant layout into linear layout and uh, so inside the root linear layout i'm considering the layout margin top as 100 dp and padding left as 50 dp and also the padding right sorry i don't uh, i will not give the padding right in case that will shift it on right and uh, i'm giving the android cavity uh, to center and just copying uh, creating the margin top and so you can see the text view the default text view of the hello world text is here so I'm now, now just changing the hello world text into login here and changing the text size that is the attribute name is android text size and keeping it as 50 SP so after that uh, I'm declaring a linear layout here sorry uh, I have to declare an edit text here that we have to start edit text inside your tag and uh, the requirement is uh, linear layout width and height of attributes and the width is match parent and the height is tab content and the orientation of the linear layout is vertical because uh, the two edit text will be there and it will be vertically aligned and the hint of the first edit text will be enter your uh, email id here just like that okay so now just copy the whole thing of edit text and just paste, paste it after that first edit text and it will look like this and I need to uh, keep some gap between the edit text and the text view so I am declaring the layout margin top as 50 dp here and also the margin left as 50 db and also the margin right as 50 db okay so i will do same as the first edit text uh, into the second edit text and i will just change the uh, text hint of the edit text second edit text that is enter your password and now uh, I have to uh, keep two buttons here because uh, one button should be one button will be for logging and one button will be for sign up. So here I have to declare one linear layout because I have to align it horizontal um, horizontally. So the weight sum will be two because the buttons will be two and the orientation will be horizontal. 
and here inside the linear layout tag you have to declare the button and the linear layout width sorry layout width and uh, height will be match paint and wrap content for the both and uh, here the weight will be one for both so now for better look at to declare here the margin left and for the next button is margin right so i'm keeping the margin left as uh just copy the attribute and paste it inside that margin left as 50 db and again the margin right as 50 db into the second button so now i have to uh okay so now i have to declare the text inside the button uh, that is android text and here i have to declare uh, declare sign in and here i have to declare the text as okay sorry first uh, in the left side i am keeping uh, as sign up and in the right side i am keeping as sign in okay so now everything is fine okay let me check So here I have to declare the on click attribute because every time uh, the user click on the sign in button and it will perform some work that is it will open some activity uh, inside the Android studio or inside your Android application and uh, also the sign up uh, in the sign up button the on click attribute that is register once the sign up button will be pressed the register function will be called and i'm declaring the uh, first edit text id as id slash mail and the uh, second edit text id as password uh, sorry pass p a double s okay now i have to uh, create another activity that is sign up activity for signing up your application or registration and here I am naming it as user registration and for short user underscore reg so click on finish and uh, it will give you this type of interface here and to click on the layout folder go to the layout folder and choose copy the whole thing of activity main out xml what you have done just right now and paste it inside activity user days dot xml and uh, just change the text of the login here to just like the store here and uh, here i need uh, another uh, edit text for the name of the user so here i have to declare that and you can see the gap between the first and second h text is too much so i need to delete that uh, from the second h text tag and now here i have to change the android hint text as enter your name here and now i have to declare delete uh, one button because two buttons are uh, not needed here just one button for register or sign up so just copy the layout margin right sorry left and paste it inside the button so now everything is fine So now just change the id of the first edit text as reg underscore name uh, it is the user registration name and email as reg underscore email and the password as reg underscore pa double s okay so now i have to change the on click 
that will be called after click on clicking on the button that is waste reduce so now um, the front end part is more or less ready now go to your main main activity dot java and inside the main activity class you just need to declare a method that is public void and just go to activity main.xml and click on the button uh, what you have written here that is register so you have to uh, create a method named register and here you need to declare view view and if you face the red lines just click on that and press alt and enter from your keyboard and it will automatically be removed and then inside that just write start activity and inside bracket uh, call a constructor here that is new point 10 and inside bracket this comma user underscore reg dot class this is your current java file and after comma you have to give your destination class file or java file and then you have to finish that so I have to go to do uh, go to the user underscore reg java file so that's why I have written that so I have to change into sign up here okay so now everything is fine okay now uh, I'm going to run it inside my virtual device so it will look like this and if you click on the sign up button and it will take some time because the RAM is very much low and it will look like this so now the front end part is uh, more or less complete and uh, in the next video I'll show you how to connect with Firebase and how to authenticate with it so keep watching my videos please click on the subscribe button and I will also provide the github link inside my description thank you